Fuck. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today I wanted to do a quick follow-up to yesterday's uh, Robert Richardson episode because obviously in that one I kind of focused on, uh, you know, like his words and what he was saying about, you know, coming to the project, what made him interested in doing the sequel, how he was originally going to, you know, work on a Batman thing with Ben Affleck. And then because of that, he kind of got in his head like, hey, I'd really like to do something comic book related and, and do one of these movies. And then Andy Serkis reached out to him, you know, coincidentally and said, hey, you want to come, you know, hang out with us on Venom 2? You worked with me on my movie Breathe. So, uh, so I focused on that a little bit more than the Woody Harrelson news but it is the summer of carnage and I was like well I gotta give you know Woody Harrelson a little bit of spotlight here uh, because it looks like he's officially back I mean we haven't heard it from Woody or like you know maybe a Sony you know thing or anything like that uh, like an official like uh, press release from Sony uh, but Robert Richardson you know did talk about it and mentioned it and said hey we got Woody he's coming in he's gonna be a new character that you know that we're bringing into this movie so it sounds like it's pretty confirmed that Woody Harrelson unless something crazy happens uh, um, it seems confirmed that Woody Harrelson is gonna be back as carnage so I figured let's make an episode on it. But since I've already kind of talked about it in the last episode uh, and that's really all the news is like, hey, yay, Woody's coming back and I can't wait to see what he does. I know some people are going to comment on the wig. Maybe, you know, these guys will get a better wig person or something. Or maybe like I, I liked my idea still where he doesn't have to look exactly like Cletus Cassidy from the comics, especially since he's an older guy. So I wouldn't mind, you know, like I was thinking he should rip his hair out with his hands and that's why his fingernails were all bloody because he was like scratching his scalp and stuff um and then writing that on you know welcome eddie on the sign uh, that was kind of my idea to like make that scene like a little more intense but maybe they can do something like that in the second movie where he rips it all out and then it's just like eh, he's bald or he has these like weird red patches every now and again and the symbiote comes out of him or comes out of the pores on his head that or the wounds on his head that he scratched out i mean who knows so i mean i'm going really dark with it uh so who knows where they'll go uh but you know Talking that aside, you know, we can talk about Woody Harrelson later when we get more information from him, when he does interviews and stuff. We'll get more into the characters of this movie as we get closer to the movie for sure. Uh, but what I wanted to show off, because I was like, well, let's talk about Woody a little bit, talk about how he's coming back, see what your guys' reactions are to that. I'm sure a lot of you are on board. Some of you might not be. So if so, let me know down in the comments so we can have our discussion down there. Uh, but I figured I didn't show these off a while ago, and I always wanted to. I saw these about like six or seven months ago, and I completely forgot about them. It was during the time when I hurt my back, I made a note to do an episode on this and I and I totally forgot. So I figured let's bring it in here because now we're going to all speculate on what Carnage might look like. So let's show some of this concept art from the first movie, uh, which is by Paolo uh, Giandosa. And he was a senior concept artist at uh, DNEG, which is a company that we talked about because remember I did a whole episode on the four or five different visual effects companies that were working on Venom. So, you know, his credits check out. And that was one of the companies we talked about and we did an episode on. And uh, and so he released about six or seven months ago on ArtStation, uh, he released, and I'll put a link to his, his uh, page down below, he released some of these images. And I'm not going to show all of them, I'm just going to show a couple, but it looks like images from the final battle of the movie, and uh, and it looks like uh, that it's Venom versus Carnage, because it's a red symbiote fighting Venom, and then even when the red symbiote comes off, you see a guy with like red hair and stuff. So uh, I don't know if they originally... Uh, told him, you know, hey, we're going to do Carnage in this movie, or they were going off like an earlier script where Carnage was the villain um, or something like that. And I, that's where I think, because like, we saw Avi Arad saying, you know, early on, like after the movie came out, he was doing interviews and he was like saying like, uh, oh, Cletus, you know, we're going to do Carnage in the next movie, but it's probably still going to be an invasion type movie. And a lot of us were like, come on, man, you already tried to do that with the first one. Do something different with Carnage. And I think it's probably because he was coming off of this. They probably had a script at one point and there were like six different versions of a Venom movie. I think all the way back to like Dolph Lundgren at one point was going to play Venom in the 90s when David Goyer was writing the script. And so there was different versions of these movies that were going to be made, but most of them had Venom versus Carnage at the end of them so it looks like maybe at one point there was a draft of this movie that had that either that or this was just concept art because sometimes that happens where they go hey we're, we're we haven't started writing the script yet or we're still finalizing the script but just for visual reference sake uh just put venom and carnage in and then if it's not carnage later when the script is done we'll you know we'll change it or whatever because sometimes that happens in movies especially how quickly this movie came out the venom one you know when it they started filming it like in august or something and then i think there was like they took some time off and came back in like october november there was like 
some w weird things with that. I, I don't know if that was when Tom Hardy left the set or whatever, but there was different things going on in the movie. And so, and I don't know, so I don't want to like fully comment, but I'm just trying to piece things together out loud with you guys. And maybe some of you guys will know. So that's why I mentioned things. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below. Um, but they turned that movie around really quickly with visual effects and everything. And I think it's because a lot of it, like most movies, they get the visual effects and the storyboards and the designs and everything get done, you know, sometimes even before or while the movie's being filmed. And so uh, I think that's probably what this is. So a lot of people were going, dude, was were they really going to have Venom versus Carnage at the end? Maybe and maybe not. Uh, but uh, but it looks like, at least from the concept art, they wanted something visually, um, you know, uh, con the two visuals that contrast. So red and black stand out from each other, which is great because in the movie it was like red and gray, whatever riot color was. And uh, and it just looked like a blobby mess at times. Uh, so obviously this would look way cooler. But yeah, you see like Eddie getting punched in the face in this shot where Cletus is like, you know, it's like Cletus's human side and he's punching Eddie's human side and the suits are peeling off of them. And then you see like Cletus make a sword and he's like sw uh, swiping at Venom. So yeah, I don't want to show all these off because I want to send, you know, uh, stuff to this guy's page. But he kind of did the concept art uh, for the final battle, uh, you know, near the rocket and stuff. And even in, in his images, you don't really see a rocket in the background, but you see an archway. So I'm wondering if that was maybe like a portal to Clintar, like if that was going to be a storyline element, if they were going to do some kind of portal, or if that's just like a doorway and they're inside like a, a hangar somewhere fighting um, near the, the space shuttle. You know, we never really know. Um, but, uh, you know, this guy has the answers, but because of NDAs, he probably can't share too much but he did share these images which i'm very thankful for so i wanted to share those with you today because we haven't talked about them on the show but i know a lot of you already know about them but i figured you know since we're you know celebrating woody coming back as carnage you know we could see these images of a what if you know from the first movie of what if carnage was a villain in the first movie and i'm on one level i'm kind of glad he wasn't because you know then they could kind of set up venom even though it was like you know not it could have been done a little bit better, but at least we got a foundation for Eddie Brock, and we all uh, probably agree that Tom Hardy really committed to that role and really gave us something to like about the movie, and uh, and so see, so they can build off that. So now that we kind of know who Eddie is a little bit in the next movie, we can get a little bit more about his background, we'll learn a little bit more about him, and then also have a focus on Carnage, and it'll be easier to balance the two characters uh, from a narrative standpoint because we already kind of know who Eddie Brock is uh, from the you know the version from the story in the first movie. So uh, so yeah, I'm. I'm I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm glad Woody's back. And I'm glad I got to finally share these images with you seven months later. I'm so sorry. I'm so late on it. Uh, but I just plum forgot. And uh, and I figured it would be a good time to share it during the summer of Carnage. And we have a lot of stuff. I got like six episodes I'm recording today. And I'm going to try to get them all done and edited and posted before I go to Halo Con, um, you know, or Halo Outpost Discovery this weekend. So uh, most of my stuff this weekend will post on my gaming channel. I also have a Joker trailer reaction that'll probably go up on my Batman channel. And I'm going to move all my Joker episodes over there so you'll probably not see them here anymore on this channel uh so i got a lot of work to do today so i'm going to get to it and then i'm also going to be on a podcast tonight uh for our friends uh, the venom maniacs over at the venom site they have a podcast called we are venom maniacs and they've invited me and it i'm so happy to like be you know brought in by them uh, they are to me like the people who started this venom fandom in a lot of ways uh with the venom site you know over like 10 years ago whenever they started it and uh and i've been a fan uh you know and i've seen them here and there and then as we've done the show I've been a fan because I've used them as like news sources and stuff, and uh, and I've I've grown closer to them at you know as a fan of theirs, and it's so nice that they reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to come hang out with us and talk Venom? And that means a lot. So uh, when those episodes go up uh, or when that episode goes up, I'll be posting links to them in my description box uh, or in the comment section. I'll probably do a pinned comment, um, so you'll probably see a pinned comment eventually on this episode if you're watching later. Um, I'll probably add it to this episode and every episode from here forward for like the next six or seven episodes. So definitely go check out that podcast when it uh, uploads on their YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching the show. As always, let me know what you think of this and Woody Harrelson coming back for Venom 2. I'm so excited. More carnage, more carnage. That's what I want. Thank you so much for watching the show. See you in the future. Peace.